National Student who is looking for scholarship opportunities. I just want to tell you that the process is not going to be very easy, the way a lot of people look at it. Scholarships is something that many people are trying to get. And if you are applying for any scholarship position, you should know that you are competing with a lot of people. The very first thing you should be doing or you should put into consideration is to know everything about the scholarship before you start the application. I am here today because I want to tell you about this scholarship opportunity which is open in Canada for all Africans. If you are from an African country, know that you can apply for this scholarship in Canada. It is fully funded and I'm going to tell you more about the scholarship. This scholarship before was in many countries. The schools that used to host this scholarship stopped. But now it is back again in this school in Canada called the University of British Columbia. This scholarship is only for people from Africa and I'm going to be talking to you about some of the things and uh, general eligibility you should know. What are the things I will talk about? I will talk about the requirements for you to apply to this scholarship. I would also talk about the programs available at the University of British Columbia that you can apply for before you stand a chance to win this scholarship because there are a, a, a group of programs. You can only apply to these programs. Then if your results are good, your application is great, then you can be considered for the scholarship. Otherwise, it is not done for every program. I hope you get it. Then I'm easily going to talk about the steps involved in application. Then I will conclude with the deadline. But first of all, we will talk about the deadline probably before going to the steps. It is usually very difficult for you to get fully funded scholarship opportunities in canada so i always advise my followers to always look at the united states rather but this is a scholarship only for africans so if you belong if you are coming from nigeria cameroon ghana ethiopia and so many other countries there are 50 50 countries on this scholarship application so if you want to apply make sure you check the link very well i'm going to make sure after talking i will put the link down there for you to verify everything now, let's take a look at the requirements of the scholarship and i will be checking my jota here so that you get the information first there is information on the website which says greetings thank you for your interest in the mastercard foundation scholars program at the university of british columbia in case i didn't mention the name of the scholarship is called the mastercard foundation scholars program at the university of british columbia and again they went further to say we are currently welcoming applications for the fall 2024 intake so remember i said you must come from any one of the 50 countries in africa and you must have completed a bachelor's degree already you must not already have graduated from a master's program or a phd program and of course you shouldn't be more than 35 years and you can be 35 years or younger at the time of application which means that you were born after 1988 and if you are born after 1988 you cannot be up to this age i mentioned here so please put this into consideration you must be a citizen of the following sub-saharan african countries and the countries there are 50 if you check on the, the link I will put down there, you are going to see that the countries are 50 and you must have lived a significant part of your life in the sub-Saharan African country. And of course, you should be like economically financial disadvantage. You should come from a poor family background or you should display a poor financial sources. And again, you must have achieved academic excellence under difficult difficult circumstances and you should show leadership qualifications and potentials it's very important you should be able to demonstrate interest in commitment in giving back to your home country now that brings me here to explain to you that if you want to apply for the mastercard foundation scholars program after you finish you have to return back to your home country but it is not something that is going to be complicated okay if you decide not to move who is going to disturb you but again you have to put all this into consideration then you also need to show that be you are a person who requires a canadian study permit to study in canada so if you like i said all african countries you need a permit to study in canada so there is no debate about this so you cannot be an asylum seeker in canada and you are applying for 
this this is not for asylum seeker you must be applying for a master's degree in the following faculties now i want to talk about the programs available if you want to go to the university of british columbia and study under the mastercard foundation scholars program which is a fully funded scholarship opportunity you have to apply for the programs in the forestry faculty they include masters in sustainable forestry master is international forestry masters of geomatics for environmental management and for now let's take a look at the faculty of land and food system. you have masters in food resources then you have masters of land and water system then in the faculty of science you have masters of data science so these are all the programs available remember the mastercard foundation scholars is going to cover only cover the expenses of the admitted scholars so if you do not win this scholarship first you have to apply to these programs right you have to apply to any of these programs then those that are qualified they will be selected by the scholarship board now then the mastercard will only fund those that are qualified for the scholarship they will not fund everybody because some people will not have the scholarship but they will gain normal admissions canadian citizens and permanent residency are not eligible to apply funds from mastercard scholars cannot be applied to pursue programs in other academic milieu so this is what you need to know you cannot use the money for every other thing if you are still in your current school what they are saying now please note that the faculty application for mastercard scholarship may be different for the posted faculty so now the programs are not the same application deadlines are not the same so it is now left for you to do your due diligence and make sure that everything is in order okay now let's take a look at the dates the deadline here says that assessment for eligibility and after assessment mastercard foundation scholars application begins on december 1st 2023 and then uh, the UBC faculty of forestry will start by January 2024, 11 January 2024. Why food and food systems will start 9 January 2024 and science will start 9 January 2024. Applicants applying for these programs should consider the difference deadline. So if you are applying, if you guys are brothers, you are not applying to the same program, you do not have the same deadline okay so please put all this into consideration now what are the steps involved in order for you to successfully apply for the mastercard foundation scholars if you are doubting anything i would suggest you click the link below check everything from here then you start the application now assess your eligibility you need to know the program type you want to apply to very important well then after that you consult the university website or the consult website to be aware of anything now when you decide that you want to apply remember this is going to take place in steps first you need to know the program of interest i have given you the programs already then when you know the program you go to the link of the university of british columbia and check if that program is there okay if the program is there you check its requirement then when you consult the whole of the website to know what is happening remember this is a scholarship this is not normal admissions it's going to be tough to go in it's going to be competitive now when you check the website of the school you will now move to the next step where you have to check the eligibility package remember the mastercard foundation scholars programs application are due on december 1st okay now we ask all the applicants be submitted electronically in a single pdf document via email as this is faster and cost less late or incomplete package cannot be accepted and the university of british columbia is not responsible for any packages not received by the deadline in order to be selected for the selected committee to determine your eligibility for the scholarship you must demonstrate financial need a commitment to give back and how your education will contribute towards the transformation of your community your region or your country in africa so these are the things you need to demonstrate now you must complete one a mastercard foundation scholars eligibility form the form is online and after that if submitted submitting a handwritten 
eligibility form ensure the document is clearly and legible okay it's very important submit the personal statement and there is an a format you have to write the personal statement they are asking of what counts of 200 to 300 maximum and again describe in recent meaningful involvement in your community like i always say doing community project internships and voluntary activities will help you a lot now they are asking for all of that you need to talk at least one thing you did in your community this is not going to be a sham something right because they will verify to 300 works and why are you interested in studying at the university of Britain? You need to Columbia. talk about that it's also 300 200 to 300 words and also talk about persistency in your life journey financial conditions of the scholarship okay then that is document number two you have to now submit a cv or a resume very important then there is a uh, this thing there is a format there you need to put into consideration then you attach two reference letters please provide two reference letters on an official document which will attest and speak extensively on your community service voluntary activities abilities and leadership potentials that is five then you submit your transcript of records remember they have to be clear and legible and you also submit a checklist and of the application package please submit a copy of your package and pdf document via email, email is there you can see i'm checking from here right so when you finish everything gathering them you clip them together merge them and submit online via an email i already told you why you should do submission via an email right then step four the ubc faculty application once the mastercard foundation application is complete eligible applicants would receive an email then secondly you will be asked to pay the application fee this is very important thirdly your application will be reviewed then lastly uh -huh, you already know what is happening so guys please you must put in a lot of work if you really want to study a scholarship abroad it is not going to be easy i always say these things that if you want to move abroad easily do not target scholarships everything is clear on the website so guys this is what we are going to be doing we are going to be looking at jackpot series scholarship application there is a lot you are going to read from this website i will drop it down in the video description box so you can watch the video read more about it then know what you are actually saying I hope this video helps you till we meet again.